Uh, Paul said that the law brings a curse. Paul said we're not under the law. Paul said that the, the law was just a, a schoolmaster, a pedagogue to, to lead us to the Messiah. Now that we've come to the Messiah, we're no longer under the law. Paul said that, that Messiah is the end or the goal of, of the law. Did Paul teach against the law? It's really easy to come to that conclusion, especially when you read some of the passages when he says that the, that the power of death is, is in the law. And it seems he's speaking of the law very negatively. But no, he didn't teach against the law. He taught against the misuse of the law. He taught against a wrong understanding of the law. And here's what he wrote in Romans, the third chapter, as he's addressing these very issues. Romans chapter 3, Paul says this, Do we then overthrow the law by this faith? By no means. On the contrary, we uphold the law. Okay, so number one, Paul is saying that the law rightly understood does not make us righteous, but the law rightly understood brings us to the end of ourselves. So we recognize our own sin and our need for mercy and our need for a Savior. That's one of the purposes of the law, of God's teaching. That's number one. Number two, that it's the law itself that tells us we're justified by faith. So as we preach this message, we are reaffirming what's written in the law. Number three, that the Old Testament, the Sinai Covenant, wrote the law on tablets, and we could not fulfill that or live up to it. Now, through a new and better covenant, God writes that law on our hearts and gives us a new nature to do the things that the law requires, not as something external, but as something internal by the grace of God. And number four, we must understand that most of Paul's polemics against the law are written to Gentile Christians, and people were trying to put them like the Galatians under the law of Moses and saying, unless you're circumcised and obey the law of Moses, you cannot be saved. And he was saying, no, that's not true. That's not gospel. If in fact you go that route, you're no longer under grace. And that's why he warns against it so strongly. But for a Jewish believer in Jesus who was continuing to live as a Jew, he says in 1 Corinthians 7, if you are called, meaning saved, and you're circumcised, don't become uncircumcised. Don't stop being a Jew or living as a Jew. Just do it now in light of the new covenant and in the fullness of the Spirit. But if you're saved uncircumcised as a Gentile, don't try to become a Jew. So he doesn't teach against the law. He gives us a right understanding of it and then makes us understand that, in fact, we've died to the Sinai covenant and live now in the newness of the new covenant. Hey, friends, check out our resources. Sign up for my emails at askdrbrown.org.